Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Joycan 80 inch tripod for cameras whatsoever and it is yeah regarding the size you can it can work from 18.5 inch to 80 inch which is a huge thing I mean uh, it's a huge range where you can use it and it can carry up to 19 pounds of load that's with the orange version and that's this version usually it's 99 dollars sometimes you can find uh yeah pre-christmas pre deals of course here we have the thing it's quite huge i mean that's uh i've seen it online and i really liked it because it looked so good so it uh, had some kind of real professional touch and i thought yeah sometimes you want this little bit of extra even if you're not a professional sometimes you just want to have this professional look and feel so i'm taking it out of the box and let's see how this works so it comes in this nice extra bag here with this yeah really stable zipper and it is again in the plastic of course for transportation i mean yeah, but and we can already see these nice colors here. We have to a little bit assemble, but not much. So let's take it out here. So that's what we get uh, here. Even pr additional protection here. I mean that's the center part, of course, and has to be protected yeah so just see how really nice this looks with this color yeah that's really fantastic joil can here is this huge uh, ball ball joint here so this thing is really huge so I had to move a little bit to the other side here if you are interested yeah where is it starting here we have some uh, kind of instructions hope it's focusing more or less it's a little bit difficult even we get some contact information there's a two-year warranty here all the notes safety instructions here we have the manual so hope you can see that so how to uh, change it for macro mode for single i mean um, center post or mono post it seems to be really very versatile so let's check this thing out it has so I'm going to show you now everything how we can convert this 80 inch joil can tripod into a 7.8 inch tripod and some things intermediate and yeah we'll start with the button here so you can see we have these nice rubber feet so when you um, yeah when you secure it fully so the here we have these metal spikes here which are probably good for outside but definitely not good for inside i mean if you're using this on a tile floor it could definitely damage a tile floor so make sure when you're inside with a really nice uh, tile floor or hardwood floor or whatsoever just uh, turn this out to the maximum and the spikes will be nicely protected with this soft rubber feet and we can extend it three times so it's easy as you can see really three times fully so i'm not going to show you that here but you get the idea how to do that three times here the joint here is really nice so it is not too hard not too soft so even without doing anything to secure these legs here 
they are pretty nice secured and the first i mean yeah when we pull them to the first full extent that's about this angle so we can do the same thing with all the three legs and we'll have this but of course we can move it even further here when we release this security mechanism yeah, i'm not used to that you have to go a little bit back down and then you can pull this here when it's fully secured you can't push it here so we can now pull it to the up yeah it's a little bit difficult behind the camera but you can do this here you get the uh, idea how to do that you can do all the legs to this side and even the full middle part you can move to this side here and at the end you have everything down so this is how to store that i'm doing this a little bit uh yeah without the camera so i did that now without the camera it was a little bit easier so it, it, it just took me a couple of seconds and so then we have this situation here where everything is really small now just a little bit longer than one foot and you can put it back into your bag so let's fully extend it back and we just we don't need to release anything we can just pull all the legs down so you can see really easily and here we have these two extensions here on the top as well and by the way what i really really uh, like here there's no oil no grease no nothing so i'm doing this on my bed because i don't have any uh, such big area which is good protected and there's absolutely no oil no grease nothing which is really messing up anything so that's the really good thing here because a lot of cheap tripods they come with grease and oil and they will cause a huge mess so what i wanted to show you as well yeah so first we have it really nicely down here on about two feet high and if you want to go just a little bit down we can put the legs to the side again difficult behind the camera but i can release that and so i can go down a little bit of course there's a limit here with this uh, center uh, post here i have it here now that's uh, as low as we can get with the normal center post if you get an idea how much this is so it's, it is now just limited by this thing, but we can replace that. That's the really cool thing. So we can even go lower. I'm going to show you that now. We have to release this thing here. And this screw, I mean screw, yeah. It is secured also here. We have to, uh, yeah, here. Hope you can see that. Here we can twist, take this out here and then we can pull out the center post nicely here and then we can uh, unscrew the center post here and uh, yeah put back this thing here this is this uh, spare part can screw this in here and we don't need that part we just go back through the center uh, opening and we need these two parts of course again and we can secure them easily here with this hook this hook we can use like a, or is it like this yeah i mean <laughs> it's uh, my first day so i'm not experienced with that it will be much easier even over time yeah by the way when we have so nice it's so nicely here yeah i think that's the thing which we have to turn this plastic or rubber rubber uh, soft rubber thing so uh, this is the counter white hook so we can really nicely pull it down secure uh, something i mean we can put the bag or whatsoever to have additional weight but i mean the tripod is already really heavy so usually i would say there's not much need 
to put something here except you have uh, 100 miles plus uh, storm hurricane whatsoever now as we have reduced the length of the center post now we can move these things almost fully to the side the legs yeah behind the camera again a little bit difficult but you get the idea we can do this now with all the legs put them almost 90 degree to the side i'm going to do that now and show you the result so i'm holding the camera now manually but you can see the result now so that the center post is still not at the floor it's still elevated and just hold by the legs here so um, i haven't measured that but uh, the manufacturer says that's only 7.8 inch which is really really low and i think hard to beat for an actually 80 inch tripod what we also can do before we fully extend it to 80 inch i'm going to show you that uh, here we have one of the legs which has this nice cushion and we can uh, unscrew this here and that's then only a single uh, leg tripod uh, i think it's called monopost or whatsoever and i'm going to use that now so as far as i know we have two different possibilities we have now this only single leg and we can already uh yes yeah, screw in the head directly here but uh, we can even make it a little bit longer and use this screw here and use the old center post and screw also this together and then the head on top of that something like that and then we have then a, a really large mono post here which you can see i'm going now back to the tripod mode and i'll extend it to the full 80 inches and always make sure when you are removing that put it back to this nice bag so it's secured and you you're not going to lose it by the way what i found out now when you do when you overdo too much when you fully unscrew screw this thing out this nut out of the thing uh, there is inside a little bit of grease i think that's the only part where there is some grease i think there was also some here that's the only place where we had this uh, but usually if you if you're not overdoing with this uh, nuts and uh, you should be protected there's no problem with that and also especially on this side with uh, here is the thread we have some grease here but that, that's usually a part which you are definitely not touching or you don't want to touch just do not over loosen it uh, because it could fell apart and then you can touch the grease by the way if you did this accidentally this is how to put the thing back you have to first uh, hover or put the nut above the uh, or the post and then add this security plate this is actually to prevent that you are going out of it so usually it is no problem but you can definitely if you fully loosen it then you can uh, overdo and it, it, it will happen so but no, usually no problem to put it back uh, here it's just behind the camera and without the uh, counter side here so as you can see i fixed that part now that's the one which i fixed and i can pull it up and it's now secured as you can see it's a little bit difficult to see but there's it's uh, still secured so if you are not over, over loosening it then uh, it shouldn't be a problem so i think we have found or we have reached now the maximum height as you can see everything nicely expanded we go up and up and up almost endlessly and i've even added this extra part here which is also used for the smallest 
uh, size. So now we are pretty close to the ceiling and I'm trying to measure now the total height. So it's a little bit a challenge because I have to hold everything, the tape and the camera and everything, but you can see it goes all the way down. And now we are going up along the measuring tape up and up and up and we are reaching 82 inches so the tripod itself is about 80 and then we have this head or mount on top of it and the camera will start at about 82 inches yeah so the last thing i wanted to show you is actually this head we have this screw here which you can use now it's a little bit loose the whole thing yeah it's just because i came down i'm trying to secure this here okay so now you have it i think you can see that we have even the degrees so that's the screw which you can use to secure this if you want to use that that's a really nice idea is this uh yeah degrees angle so we can secure it here and it's totally uh, stuck. We can also, yeah, that was of course not good. I have to turn it here. So we can use this ball head. As you can see, we can move it all the way around also to the side. Uh, yeah, there are almost no limits. We can only not um, go to the downside. But there's also an option you can actually invert the whole thing here you can see that so we can invert the whole center post and mount it upside down if you really like it and we can so you have your camera upside down so with this 90 degrees so actually we have the we have a 360 degrees uh, where we can go so absolutely no limit with that and it's a really nice large ball here and nice to secure it in every angle as you can see it's really absolutely tight and we have this um, yeah I don't know how to call it even but you can see it goes all the way around and I mean most professional cameras have this thing anyway built in so usually no need for that but if maybe it can help you if you don't have this and of course this is the way how to secure the camera itself we have this uh, screw here you can either use it with a coin or with the thing I like to have both of the options some sometimes you have either this a small handle here or you have this coin thing now here you have both options i really like that and that's metal i mean most of this thing most of this tripod is built with metal i think everything here which you can see <clears throat> i mean there are of course a few things which have to be plastic to uh, give a little bit uh, to have a little bit of play like these things here or better grip i think that these are the only things which are made of plastic everything else is uh, metal and yeah looks really good so here we can see that from the side how this looks i've never seen this option and yeah we open that um yeah what's wrong here yeah so it's still a little bit secured as you can see um yeah so that's the full extent here and we have to go inside like this and so we can secure we can, can even move it a little bit to the side hope we can show you that why ever we want to have that i don't know why we can secure it in every place don't see the need for that but at least can see really good secure it in the center no problem with that so overall really nice thing here but yeah it definitely exceeded my expectations everything so nicely built everything working we can make it as small as 7.8 inches we can make it as tall as 82 inches high uh, yeah it's absolutely versatile it's a beauty it's stable it's sturdy it's uh yeah it's an awesome thing 
Uh, the only thing which I fear is to use it outside because it's so beautiful. So, but I have no doubt that it will last for a very long time even when used outside. And as always, I'll put down the link to the listing on Amazon into the description below so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. So that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.